Now the question number 76. Now read this question. And the profit earned by selling an article is 317. Is equal to the loss incurred when the same article is sold for rupees 233. What should be the sell price of the article for making 20% profit? Now, in such kind of question, what you have to do is you have to first calculate the cost price and how will you solve? How will you calculate the cost price? Cost, <coughs> this is the cost price. You can say 300 plus 200 to 500, 550 divided by 2, that is. 275 is the cost price CP and 25 20 percent profit that is 120 divided by 100. Three thirty should be the selling price to earn 20 percent profit. Answer would be D. The next question is 77. If a main purchase is four apple of five and sell 5 of 4, how much profit or loss does he pay? In such kind of question, how will you solve? See, take the LCM that is 4 and 5, 4 and 5, 20, take apple 20. Now, 4 apple rupees 5, or rupees 5, you can say, 20 apple would be 25 rupees. Now, this is was CP and SP, 5 apple 4 rupees, 4 rupees, and 20 apple would be 16 rupees 5 into 4 six, 4 into 4 16 rupees now its cost price is 25 selling price is 60 loss is 9 rupees on 25 25 rupees 9 rupees or 100 rupees 9 into 4 that is 6, 36 percent loss 36 is the answer now question number 78 a merchant profession professes to lose 8 percent on the Now read this question carefully and try to solve this one, pause the video. You can do one thing, you pause the video every time. If those friends who have not <coughs> taken the test for tire 2, in fact you must have taken tire 2 test and these are the tire, uh, uh, approaches that how can you solve. We have already covered 77 questions till now and there are 100 questions in tire 2, this is uh, 701 test. Mer merchant profits loss 8% of the certainty, but he uses a weight of 460 gram instead of 1 kilogram. It means on 1 kilogram, 8% that is on 1 kilogram 80 gram, 1000 gram 80 gram, 8 into 10 that is 80 gram. It means deduct 1000 minus 80, 920 actually he is looking to sell, but he uses a weight of 460. 460 he is using it means he is earning 460 on 4 on 460 it means 100 percent he is earning 100 percent he is earning his loss of property 100 percent now sir question number 79 three solid cubes whose slides sides are three four and five centimeters respectively are melted to form a single cube find the side of the new cube let us take the total volume of all these 3 power 3 because this is cube and volume of cube is a power 3. So 3 power 3 plus 4 power 3 plus 5 power 3 that is 27, 64 and 125. 216 and 216 cube root is 6 that is 6 should be the answer of side of new cube is 6. Now the next question is question number 80. Now what is the question? In ABC triangle, in ABC triangle, read this question carefully and try to solve this question. How will you solve? Now in question, in this question, ABC, A, B, C, B is 60 degree, B is 60 degree, C is 40 degree, 40 plus 60 100 that is A is 80 degree. A, D and E B respectively the internal bisector A and perpendicular on B C. It means D is 
is the internal bisector. It means this is 40. B. In case of B, this is 40. And this is also 40. And this is 40. And this is 40 also. And AE. A is the internal bisector. A E internal bisector. You can see this is 90. So A is the perpendicular. B on A is on the uh, perpendicular on B C. That is 90. 90 plus 40, 130, and it means it will be 50. So one is 15, another is 40. Difference is 10. 10 is the difference. Answer is B. We have to find the D A E value. D A E value we have to find. Now the question number 81, a circle with center O is touching two intersecting lines AX and BY, two points of contact A and B subtend an angle of 65 at an, at an point C on the circumference of the circle, if P is the point of the intersection of the two lines, then the measure of APO will be how much? Take the circle, this is the circle take and AX, AX and by these are the showing two intersecting lines the internet line and they are between at p two points of contact a and b this this we call it point of contact a and b subtend an angle 65 at any point c on the circumference this is circumference let's take c this is the point c if p is the point of intersection of the two lines then the APO we have to and O is the center. O is the center. You can take here center O. Now we have to tell APO. We have to tell the value of this. Now if this is 65, then total would be 130. Because angle formed at the center would be double 130. And this is 90 degree. Why 90 degree? And this is 90 degree because angle formed at the center by the point of contact is 90 degree 90 90 8 135 and this is quadrilateral and quad all angle of quadrilateral 360 so we have to uh, <coughs> 135 you can say 180 minus 135 you, you will find here This is not 135, 65 to, to 130 and this is 130, it means this is 50. 50 is the total and it will be 25 degree because it will, these are two congruent triangle, congruent triangle. So it will be 25 and 25. Answer in this case is A. Internal bisector B of B and C of ABC intersected O. This is A, B. C internal bisector. You can see here. Take here. This, this is internal bisector. Intersect for BOC. BOC one zero two. Then the value BAC. We have to tell the value of this. Now the property is ninety plus a by two is equal to one zero two. A by two is equal to twelve. A is equal to twenty four. It means this value is twenty four. B is the answer. Next question 83. Angle between the external bisector of two angle between external bisector of two angle is an external bisector. These are angle bisector and this is the angle 60 degree. Then the third angle of the triangle is third angle means this angle would be how much? Now the property is 90 minus a by 2 is equal to 60 it means 90 minus 60 30 is equal to a by 2 a is equal to 60 this is a and this is equal to it will be equal to 60 c would be the answer now the next question i is the in center of abc in center of abc if abc abc is this is 60 degree bca B C A this is 80 degree. The B I C we have to tell the B I C 60, 80, 140. That is it means it would be 40. B I C B I C is always 90 plus A by 2. 
and that is BIC is you have to tell A is equal to given 40 that is 90 plus 40 by 2 that is 19 plus 90 plus 20 110 C should be the answer now the next question 85 here in this question ABC do ABC do BE parallel uh, PAC BE parallel to now BE is perpendicular on AC BE you can mention here and CF perpendicular AB CF this is CF perpendicular you can write here like this this is the symbol of 90 degree and the perpendicular B and C F B and C F these are the perpendicular as is as given in the symbol intersect at O if B A C 90 degree B A C this is 70 degree then the value B O C we have to tell the value of this now this is 90 this is 90 this is 70 triangle uh, quadrilateral all angle are 360 it means it would be 110 and opposite angle are equal it means 110 would be the this angle answer is D O is the center and arc ABC O is the center and arc even now this is the diagram O is the center and arc ABC substance angle 130 degree at 130 degree E B and C this is the arc and angle 130 degree is subtending at O it means this angle would be if this is 130 it means it would be 65 because it is half at the circumference as compared to this now if this is 65 then it will become this would be opposite angle are 180 and if 180 minus 65 that is 115 it is, it is 115 we have to tell then pbc would be p extended uh, ab is extended ab extended at p this is extended and the angle this is One sixty five oh one one five then it would be it would be sixty five answer should be C it will be sixty five because the, we have to tell the angle P B C P B and C this angle so this is one eighty degree straight line and sixty five is uh, one one five is this then it will be one uh, one eighty minus one one five that is sixty five. Internal bisector of angle B and C of a triangle ABC meet at O, A, B and C. Internal bisector of B and C, these are internal bisector, meet of a triangle meet at O, B A C 80 degree, B A C 80 degree. Then the value we have to find the B O C, B O C. And the formula here, property here is 90 plus A by 2, that is 90 plus 40 130 130 should be the answer answer is d in triangle pq are point a b and c are taken on pq pr and qr respectively such that in triangle pqr here you can make triangle pqr a point a b and c are taken on pq a pr b and C on QR C such that QC QC and AC are equal QC and AC are equal you can you can like these two are equal and CR CB equal CR and CB equal you can connect this CR and CB are these are equal QPR QPR this is 40 degree 
and we have to tell ACB. ACB we have to tell this. Now this is 40. Take this value of 2. Assume this. Because triangle, all angle of a triangle are 180 minus 40. That is, you take here 70 degree or 70 degree. You can also take 80, 60. But the answer would be the same. Put the values. If this is 70, it means this would be the this uh, this line and this line if this is empty this would be 70 70 plus 70 140 that is this is 40 this is 70 and this is also be 70 if this is 70 this would be 70 70 plus 70 140 that is it will be 40 40 plus 40 80 it means it would be 100 so that the straight line will become 180 100 would, would be the answer now the question number 89 two quotes a b and c d of a circle with center d intersect each other at p a d b a t b uh, a d b let's take this is the circle two quotes a b a b b c d here C and this D intersect each other at P A D P A D and P you can get here like this this is down to 3 A P C A P and C this is 70 here you can write 70 then the B C D would be B C and D. We have to tell B C D. We have to tell this. Now B C D B C D and B A D are equal. Why? Because on the same base. Because so the same base. Angle formed on the circumference are equal. And here 70 degree, it means this is 110. So this is straight line. If this is 110, this is 23, and the, this is equal to this, it means we have to find now this. So that this will be equal to this. 110 plus 23, 133. 180 minus 133. That is, you can say, 47. 47 would be the answer. B. In a triangle ABC, A, B, and C, in the ratio A, B and C 2, 3, 4 these are the angle ratio you can say 4 plus 3, 9 plus 2 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 so 2 by 9 you can say 40 60 and 80 these are the angle 40, A 60 and 80 a line C, D is drawn parallel to AB. CD, this is the line parallel to, and then ACD, we have to tell the value of ACD. ACD, we have to tell the value of this. What is the value of this? Now, if this is, these are two parallel lines. This is 40, then it will be 40 because these are alternate angles. If this is 80, this is 40. And we have to tell ACD. A, C, this can be, we have to tell A, C, D now A, C, D is parallel to A, B it means A, B and C, D in that format it will be here it will be here C and D D. Is, this is C and it will be D, this is A and B, parallel like this. And if this is alternate angle, 40, this is 80, 80 plus 40 is 120 and this is straight line. It means this would be 60, 60 plus 80, 144, 140, 140 plus 4, 180. So this would be the, we have, it is given we have to find value of A, C, D, A, C and D. 
now this is 80 this is 60 so this is b c d i think it is if he is asking b c d that is 60 degree otherwise it would have been 60 plus 80 140 and option is not given 140 so here the question is what is the value of b c d and in that case answer would be b now this is the question of data interpretation and direction is given study the following table carefully and answer the question given below here these are the five organizations and these are the departments and this is the total value which is given remember this this is the total value which is given sometimes student start counting while it is already given now total number of employees working in legal department this is the legal department are approximately the what percentage of total number of employees working in HR department to all the organization together now answer is reasonably quite far reasonably quite far so you can take approximate value also number of what percentage you can say legal employee HR department HR department 1000 2000 around 3000 4000 5000 something around you can say or otherwise you can get 500 you are taking let, let me, you can say 100 less 4900 you can also write because you are taking approximate value and legal legal 50 plus 50 and plus 50 150 you can take it and 30 180 216 you can take 216 divided by 499 into 100 you have taken approximate value so it will be around 4% 4% should be the value because here we are taking if we take 50 then 50 into 4 it is less than quite less than 5% answer is A in such kind of question you can calculate like this instead of doing the exact calculation because the answer is quite far away so answer is A you have to take little bit of risk also otherwise the calculation can be very very lengthy which is actually not required to do complete calculation now let's do the next question next question here is what is the approximate difference between the average number of people average number of people working in marketing and production departments from all the organization together average number of people working in marketing and production now the answer is reasonably different you can say reasonably far away from each other first you must think uh, observe this and then we have to get the average number of people working in marketing and production now take the total marketing people marketing is three three hundred thirteen hundred thirty hundred thirteen hundred thirteen hundred thirteen hundred you can take thirteen to five sixty five hundred approximately and then production I think production is given marketing and production obviously the average is 1300 you can say production production let's take the production production is 1500 1500 1500 1500 take it around 1550 1550 is the average and then 1350 around 250 40 let's take uh, 230 is the nearest 31 so b will be the answer there is no need to calculate in fact in this question we have taken 1300 in that and we have taken around uh, 1500 40 or 50 you can say 231 is the answer take the option route or observation route which is more appropriate what is the respective ratio of the total number of employees working in an organization A to the total number of employees working in organization E A and E we have to find the ratio of A and B C is there any now A total number of employees this is total number of employees a and E. So you can 5, 8 to 5 
and 5625 this is the ratio and if you take it it can be equal to 58 or 56 29 or you can say 28 is there any close let's see 20, 20. it should be none of these because <coughs> if it is 5 and it is also 5 it means it cannot be it cannot be in this format it cannot be in this format and second thing is this is higher so if this is higher it cannot be possibly this this cannot be possible it means d would be the answer so in that way you without any calculation you can do it like this what is the total number of employees from the all the department working all organizing together we have to find the total number of employees now first see is there any nearest thing 26,000, 28,000 yes this is comparatively these are comparatively close figure so be careful doing this but we have to calculate all we have to find out 5, 5, 5, 5 and 5 it means 25,000 25,000 825 you can calculate here 825 then 703 then 424 then 613 then 625 now 5 plus the 8 12 15 20 2 4 6 7 9 8 7 uh, 15 19 25 plus 3000 28190 28,190 should be the answer. In fact, we have calculated the exact figure. Because it was required in this question, comparatively it was close. Earlier we take approximate route and observation route. This was more appropriate in that case. Number of people working in the finance department from organization B is approximately what percentage of the total number of employees working in the organization B? Total number of people in the organization B and the answer are quite far away quite far away means reasonably reasonably far away let's see finance department total <coughs> total number of employees as far as b is concerned b this is finance department 920 and total are 570 so 920 960 divided by 960 divided by 57 here you can write instead of 5703 you can write 5700 now 96 divided by you can say 960 divided by 57 57 it will be around less than more than 16 960 divided by 57 960 divided by 57 and it is you can say 960 divided by 57 if you take here 60 60 then it will be 16 but it means 57 is less than 60 it means it value would be more than 16 percent and it will be slightly more and slightly more means 17 percent so D would be the answer. Without calculation, you can do like this in data interpretation questions. Now, question number 96. A polygon has 35 diagonals. Number of sides of the polygon would be. Now, what is the formula? N, N minus 1 divided by 2 minus N. You can also write by uh, opening this bracket, you will find different formula. But here, take all of this. It will be more useful. 35 is equal to 35 now instead of calculating further take option root 4 if you take here 4 it will not become 35 if you take 10 it will become 10 divided by 2 that is 5 into 9 minus 10 that is 35 so take option root by calculating if you know the formula answer is d d would be the answer in abc ab is equal to ac 
and BA is produced to D such that AC is equal to AD and we have to find the BCD value of BCD. Now in ABC, A, B and C, AB and AC these are equal. BA is produced to D such that AC is equal to AD, AC is equal to AD, this AD, BCD. B, C and D, we have to tell the angle this, B, C and this D. Now take, put the value, you can put here 70 degree, if this is 70 then this would be 70 because these are equal, these, these are equal A, B and A, C, if this is 70, this is 70, then it would be 40, if this is 40 then it would be 140 because this is straight line, This is, if this is 140 and these are equal these are equal it means if this is 20 this would be 20 because 20 plus 20 40 40 plus 140 180 if this is 20 this is 20 this is 70 and we have 10 uh, we have tell we have to calculate b c d that is 70 plus 20 that is 90 degree 90 degree should be the answer answer is d 90 question number 98 in tangent a b c a b plus a angle plus b angle is 65 b plus c is 140 we have to tell the value of b now a b c is 180 b plus c is equal to 140 then a would be a would be 40 because 180 minus 140 that is 40 the value of a is 40 a plus b is 65 a is 40 then b would be 25 then these will become 65 so b is 25 answer is b in a triangle abc a is equal to 90 degree c is 55 ad parallel uh, perpendicular to bc what is the value of bad now in abc a b and c a is 90 degree take it 90 degree 90 degree. C is 55. This is 55. This is 55. Then it would be 55 plus 25. You can see here 25 plus 60 plus 280, 90. This would be 90. Then it would be 35. 90 and then 55 plus 35 that is 90. So this would be 35. This would be 55. AD is parallel to BC. AD is parallel to BC. Perpendicular to BC. AD, this is perpendicular. What is the value of BAD? BAD, we have to tell the value of B. Now, this is 90, this is 35, so it will be 55. Because 55, three angles are 180, this is 90 degree, this is 35, then it will be 55. So, BAD, 55 should be the answer now the next question which is the hundred question and last question of this test if o be the circumcenter of a triangle pqr circumcenter of a triangle pqr this is p q and r circumcenter take let's this take this circumcenter means center will be formed like this like this and q o q r o q r q o r q r this is 110 it means if this is 110 and in this it will be 55 because it is half as compared to this o p r o p r this is 25 then the major p r q p R and Q we have to tell P R Q. Now these are radius. Why these are radius? Because in this, if you take this with the circle, then this and this is equal. And if this is 25, then it will also be 25. Number one. Measure of P R Q we have to tell P R Q. If 110, it means 70, 35 would be this and 35 would be this because these are two equal these are two equal if this is 35 and this is 25 then 
क्यू आर पी और पी आर क्यू वुड भी थर्टी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज सिक्सटी डिग्री पी आर क्यू पी आर क्यू सिक्सटी डिग्री आंसर इज डी सो इन दिस वे वी हैव कंप्लीटेड हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन ऑफ टेस्ट नंबर वन सेवन जीरो वन इन दिस वे ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन वी विल सॉल्व फ्रॉम टेस्ट नंबर वन सेवन जीरो वन टू सेवन फोर जीरो यू कैन से फोर्टी टेस्ट वी विल कंडक्ट फॉर टाइट टू एंड ईच टेस्ट विल हैव हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन and each question of the test will have video lectures so you can say that this project is a big project for pinnacle coaching center you can say the most ambitious project of the uh, coaching center and very comprehensive coverage of video lectures because we are covering each and every question with tricks and uh, explanation if you have any doubt you can also ask question you can write us to email by if you have any doubt and uh, this is all about this 701 test thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best